application that's caring about uh, the software or the processes behind. Um, I want to speak with you today a little bit about um, the, uh, the values behind. Uh, one uh, is uh, reflected in the motto uh, for diversity. MicroOffice as a software cares about diversity. And diversity is one angle of digital sovereignty. Digital sovereignty is a um, uh, prerequisite to, um, to promote uh, diversity. So I will not speak so much today about the foundation of this organization. This is uh, hard tomorrow. But I want to uh, tell you what is the Libra of this technology and uh, what is the um, Process behind it, properties behind it to promote digital sovereignty uh, in this office project. So, to understand this, I just want to introduce me myself a little bit. Ways. There's a, a, a lot of things there, but you have to understand perhaps for this uh, uh, talk uh, two things. First of all, um, my, uh, my business, my own company is based on services around the office. So some of the uh, uh, arguments of the properties I will explain are very, very important. And on the uh, second part, you have to know. Uh, my contribution to this source software is um, giving my time for helping the office spread the world, world by such an event here in Indonesia. And um, uh, there are some other things that we can do. Okay, so to understand. Role, uh, in the office of digital sovereignty, of promoting diversity, we have to look a little bit at the history of uh, the office. And what I've done is I have this uh, time uh, line uh, based here to show you where are the rules of the process. The software itself was born in the early 80s of the last century. An old, old software. But rather when the form source, it gets in the uh, early 2000s. There was a really important decision done by Sun Microsystems. Uh, they did a uh, software star office over there. Star office open source. So they did the uh, source code Libraries openly downloaded uh, from the internet. So, this was the start of a free and open source product activity suite. A very important decision. So, this was made round about the year 2000. This was also a very important uh, deal for me because in this time my company was uh, based on. Uh, services around uh, open office. So if you have a look uh, further, it was around about 2005, 2006, another important date with free and open source software because the document format which is produced by the product office uh, suite was um, Changed to the open document format. Open document format is a uh, uh, common standardized, totally, totally open document format. There are some other, some other XML based uh, document formats no, no, but they are not totally open in the daily business. But open document format will be and this is a very, very important uh, problem. 
second is the little community which you can see as the whole circle of everybody in this community, uh, which is definitely worldwide. As you see, I've said it here, this European guy, as a German guy, to address you uh, for using the drones. And uh, you all know, we have a very, very uh, engaged community in Asia, especially in Indonesia, with very, very powerful people behind doing a great, great job. So, I remind you, absolutely. Four, four 
quite different uh, properties which each open software and a specific micro office should fulfill to be uh, like digital and digital software and open source software. So here are the, the, the four freedoms uh, you have to fulfill and uh, here is written how micro office do fulfill this. So the first freedom is to run the program as you wish for any purpose. No one has says um, you don't have to use it there, or you can't use it with that, or you have to um, additionally um, install this. All these software run as you wish for any purpose. Second freedom. I mentioned it to study how it works and change the code you buy. I mentioned that you can have a look at the source code, but even more you are free to uh, change the source code, to compile it by your own, to do your own version of the process, to add some functionality you need, uh, and so on. The third uh, freedom is to share copies to whom you want. There is no restriction in copyright or something like this, um, that you are not allowed to give uh, this software to others. No, you are forced to do to give this software to others. To broaden the, the, the user community um, of uh, the process. And last but not least, freedom number four. Freedom number four. Uh, to contribute and read this video uh, modified version. So you are forced, if you have additional functionality, uh, give it to the contribute back and not just in the form of programming doing development but also um, giving your time, giving your, um, uh, your, your, your good being for convincing others about using open source software. There are so much people's um, non-development activities that you can help to promote and others to, uh, to, uh, to uh, make them help using microphones. Yeah, I do not want to end here my, my sponsor talk um, uh, on behalf of the uh, Dr. Village, one of the sponsors of this uh, conference, to thank you. To First of all, certainly to the host uh, of this conference, uh, Dean, the Dean was this morning and attending. Thank you so much for having me here in this, um, in this uh, really nice place at the University of Frankfurt. The local teams, um, thank you so much to the Indonesian and Asian teams who had a lot of work, I know. Thank you.